diet fads. There are a ton of them. From eating cotton balls to living on baby food. Yeah, baby. These diets promise rapid weight loss. But are they healthy? Absolutely not. What problems might you experience with these weight loss trends? This is your body on 10 of the most extreme diet fads. Hey, before we dive in, please be aware that this video is strictly for educational purposes. They just got to learn. We do not endorse these diets or encourage anyone to try them. Don't do it! The baby food diet. On the baby food diet, you replace breakfast and lunch with jars of baby food. So diaper up. Because baby food is low in calories, I'm so hungry. It may help you lose weight in the long term, but it wouldn't give you what you need to stay healthy as an adult. I'm a little baby. No, you're a, a full grown man. And why would you take food from a baby? Come on, shame on you. Babies are shady. The Fletcherizing Diet. This diet involves chewing foods and liquids at least 100 times before swallowing. I chew off my own foot. Dietitian Horace Fletcher created it in 1889. A 2011 study from Harbin Medical University in China showed that people consumed fewer calories when they chewed their food slowly. You need to slow down. Now, while your jaw might get a good workout, experts agree that this chewy exercise isn't healthy. I'm proud to swallow. The five bite diet. If you thought 100 bites were bad, how about five? Hey, uh, are you gonna finish that sandwich? That sandwich was the only good thing going on in my life. The five bite diet severely limits your calorie intake. Yeah, you skip breakfast. What about second breakfast? And eat five bites of food at lunch and five at dinner. I said only five bites of everything. Clean up on aisle five. You'd get the same weight loss results as a gastric bypass, which is surgery that reduces the size of your stomach. But this diet could cause digestive issues. I don't feel so good. And an increase of gallstones. I'm stoned. It could also lead to disordered eating behaviors. The grapefruit diet. Fans of the grapefruit diet claim it can help lose up to four and a half kilograms within 10 to 12 days. But experts say that any weight loss is due to a higher water intake. I have water for lunch, thank you. Making you feel full so you eat less. Now, while grapefruits are full of vitamin A, vitamin C, and potassium, they don't contain everything your body needs. I'm never gonna be good enough for you, am I? It might seem sweet at the start, Hi, boys. but you'll be bitter about it later. I could kill you without making a sound. The military diet. This diet is not related to any military or governmental institution. If you followed the military diet, you'd have to ingest highly rationed portions of food for three days. You could have a slice of toast, Good sauce. Half a cup of canned tuna. Too much tuna. Or one hard boiled egg. Can I offer you a nice egg in this trying time? But your body would go into starvation mode. Lay off me, I'm starving. Ten. Now finish those vegetables, soldier. Eat it. You're killing him, Michael. The cabbage soup diet. On the cabbage soup diet, you eat as much cabbage soup as you want throughout the day. Nobody likes soup. It's supposed to lead to rapid weight loss, but when consumed in large amounts, cabbage is known to cause gas. It was just farts. Bloating. Physically, I don't bloat. And you're in trouble. Abdominal pain. Sorry, dude. Not so for you. Phew, did somebody open a window? Somebody making soup? And while you might save on your grocery bill for the month, eh, it isn't healthy. According to the American Heart Association, 
This low calorie diet could cause irregular heart rhythms. Can you believe they found a way to make cabbage worse? <laughs> the Master Cleanse. The Master Cleanse diet involves drinking a mix of lemon juice, maple syrup, cayenne pepper, and water six to 12 times a day. Who likes the juice? I like the juice. Beyonce popularized it as the lemonade diet. I'm lemonading. This 10-day diet claims to cleanse the digestive system, help you lose weight, and make you feel energetic and happy. I look amazing. While it's considered a detox diet, there's no proof it works. You'd not only lose weight, but muscle and bone mass and all that sugar could lead to weight gain and headaches. Another day, another migraine. It might help stave off cravings for unhealthy foods. Green drink, take me away. But there's nothing healthy about this diet. The cotton ball diet. Instead of eating a proper meal, you eat five cotton balls a day. Huh? Are those even edible? Won't we, like, die if we eat cotton balls? To add flavor, practitioners of this diet like to dip them in orange juice, lemonade, or a smoothie. People eat cotton candy, don't they? Well, this stuff is better. It's made out of real cotton. But cotton balls are actually made of polyester fibers that have been bleached. You could feel nausea, job, job. cramps, or have abdominal swelling. Oops, I crap my pants. Not only that, but they could obstruct your intestinal tract, which could be life-threatening. People can't eat cotton. They've got to. The tapeworm diet. Some people swallow pills containing tapeworm larvae to drop a few pounds. I swallowed a tapeworm last night. Creed told it to me. The larvae would hatch inside your gut and eat any excess food. That wasn't a tapeworm. But you could experience abdominal pain. And tapeworms could also attach to other organs outside your digestive tract. This could cause dangerous complications like the blockage of your bile ducts or a disruption in the function of your lungs, liver, or brain. Hey, I'm sorry to be blunt, but this diet could kill you. I'd stick to gummy worms instead. That is a good idea. The werewolf diet. This diet doesn't involve hunting or howling at the moon. I am a wolf. Following the cycles of the moon, you'd be cleansing your body of toxins. You'd have only water, fruit, or vegetable juice for 24 hours during the full moon or new moon. Fans of the werewolf diet I wolf you. say they can lose up to 2.7 kilograms of water weight per day. But there's no scientific evidence or research to support the effectiveness of this diet. I've decided to live as a werewolf. <laughs> you know, no matter how enticing these diets sound, they don't. They can be very dangerous to your health. Eating a well-balanced diet in moderation and maintaining a regular exercise plan is the best way to stay in shape. Now, have you ever wondered what would happen to your body How you doing? if you gained 300 pounds in one year? Well, we'll find out on another episode of Your Body On. <laughs>